Well, a quick reminder here on the development in Damaturu State. I would like our eyewitness uh, there. If you have pictures, uh, you really can send them to our eyewitness platform. And, of course, uh, we should be going back pretty soon uh, to speak with our correspondent. And, uh, well, any eyewitness uh, uh, that uh, he has been able to get to give us uh, an update on situations in Damaturu, the UBC capital, just in case uh, you just uh, got this. Uh, they woke up this morning as early as 6 uh, to sporadic gunshots uh, in Damaturu. Well, uh, and uh, they say the military is already taking charge of the situation in that uh, state. Damaturu, by the way, is the capital of Yoruba state. Well, uh, joining us to look at uh, the latest doctors uh, who are grouse with the state government is Dr. Wumi Salako. He's the chairman of Lagos State Health Service. Commission, good morning and thanks for joining us. Well, the doctors, or let me call them your doctors, because if it's the Service Commission for the Health, that means they are your doctors. Uh, you are the employer, so to speak. So your doctors are not too happy because you have decided to have what they call selective treatment. You choose those to pay and those not to pay because uh, they went on illegitimate strike action. Well. Thank you very much uh, for giving us this opportunity to clarify issues. There are fundamental issues that we have to take care of. See, any time there is federal government circular or agreement with federal employed workers, it's not necessarily binding on the state government. The national Medical Association went into agreement with federal government. When it didn't go well, they decided to call federal workers, federal doctors, federal employed doctors into strike. And what we had in Lagos State is just a copy of the dispute declared by Nigerian Medical Association, the national body, against the federal government. There was never a time the state branch of NMA or the medical bill actually declared the trade dispute against the legal state government. So we've got to take that into consideration before thinking or oh, any time they go on strike, uh, the state government is just taking action against them. So, Fundamentally, it is an illegal strike in the first instance. So let me get this straight. The notice for strike action by Lagos State Doctors Medical Guild, Medical Guild yes. was a grounds linked to the federal government and not with the state. And not to the state. There was never a time the Medical Guild or the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos State Branch, actually declared state dispute, a trade dispute, against the Lagos state government. Well, all uh, the Dr. Salakwam, uh, uh, well, apologies, uh, we have to put in there just a moment. We'll come back to you. We have to go to uh, Damaturu very quickly. We have an eyewitness on phone uh, to give us uh, an update of situation there. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Uh, could you tell us what exactly is happening in uh, Damaturu now? We woke up this morning around after by heavy bombing and the gunshots all over the town. And by the time we inquired for that, we landed by the Boko Haram members and infiltrated into the town. And people were just running about for safety. And since morning up to now, the fighting has been going on very intense. Heavy bombing, heavy, heavy shooting from every direction in the town. As I'm speaking with you, I'm hiding inside the ceiling. I have to screen the ceiling and be inside the roof because the situation is very tense. I sighted the insurgents close to my direction, so I had to quickly enter the city, but they have moved past where I am. Well, I think from uh, the way you sound, uh, I could hear you in harsh tones. Uh, it truly shows the situation uh, uh, you are at the moment, uh, where exactly you are. Well, safety first, which is uh, very, very important. But uh, you said it started as early as 6 this morning, and you were able to have a glimpse of some of the insurgents. Uh, well, that means uh, we're talking about uh, Boko Haram, isn't it? It is, it is. Uh, have you seen or heard uh, the military were trying to repel them? Yes, 
years. I made some contact because I have close relationship with the military hierarchy and they told me that they are on top of the situation. Well, did you have uh, any inkling that this was going to happen this morning, uh, uh, maybe the previous day, Sunday? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't know that something like this was going to happen. And uh, initially we had a helicopter flying all over, but about an hour now, the helicopter has, has, has gone off. The aerial patrol or uh, surveillance, was it uh, from the Nigerian military or by the insurgents? I did, not, I did not personally sight the helicopter. I only had the sound from afar. So I wouldn't know which one is which. Well, we'd like to thank you so very much for speaking with us, uh, and uh, well, we hope uh, that you, you stay safe, and uh, well, subsequently we'll get to call you and speak with you, uh, or speak with our correspondent, Jonathan, who is uh, still very much there in Damatru. Well, an eyewitness uh, speaking with us uh, from Damatru, the situation, he says, is very, very frightening and tense, uh, speaking with us in hush tones. Uh, right uh, from his hiding place, uh, we hope that uh, well, this can be arrested and pretty fast too. Well, uh, Dr. Salako, uh, well, sorry about that. Uh, coming back to you, uh, you say the issue has to do with uh, the federal government. Didn't they get this picture before having all of this with the state government? Because he said, well, the state government has never liked the medical doctors in the state. And he went as far back 2012, reading out so many other altercations between the government and the guild. That is absolutely untrue. When we referred to 2012, it didn't take into consideration that there is a civil service circular on no work, no pay policy of the government. There were reminders, at least three reminders on this circular. But you see, what Medical Guild wants is a form of unitary direction. Whenever anything happens at the federal level, they will say state government take it or leave it, or else they will go on strike. And this is not applicable. We are in a federal system. Whatever agreement the federal government has with her workers is not necessarily binding on the state government. And we have always told them that we are open to negotiation, discussions, and so on and so forth. But he says beyond that, that. He said they've had meetings with you several times. Yes. Beyond that, there is a statutory committee on pay policy, salary review for the state public servants. The medical guild had never attended any meeting with that committee. And that is the community that sets salaries for all state public servants. Doing such things like that can never help matters. It can never resolve issues. So that's what we are saying. Go, going back to 2012, we told them that, look, you cannot say you are going on strike immediate effect, indefinite, and unfortunately total. It is grossly unethical. It's never happened in any civilized world that we make your strike total. And that is why we had to actually apply that state policy on no work, no pay. And if you read some of their releases, they said it is unwritten. It's written and well circulated. Even reminders were sent to them during their recent strike action. Dr. Salako, the NMA is an umbrella body for all the doctors in the country. Are you saying that when their national head says do something they shouldn't do? Whenever NMA national is having discussions, negotiations with federal government, we have always advised. At the same time, let the state enemy start the same negotiation with the state government. And but that almost way? invariably, they don't. They will just say, see mm -hmm. there is federal agreement on this, the state must adopt. That okay. cannot work. All right. Now, they went on strike on 1st of July and came back in August 
the 25th or thereabout. That means they worked in September. Why is it that you're not paying them for September? Oh, thank you very much. You see, the state government always pays earlier during festive period. The month of July, there was the Muslim festival of Eid al-Fitri, and they were paid, all the workers were paid earlier than the usual time for payment. So, the no work, no pay salary could not be implemented in July. So they didn't work in July, they didn't work in August. So that is why it has to split into September. Okay, so, so even, they they months, worked. even though they worked in September, the work they did not do in July, they had their salary uh, withdrawn for September. Do you apply this year no work, no pay policy to other segments? All, all cadres. All cadres. The difference is this. About, um, ASU in uh, last week that went on strike with the national ASU and they've all been paid. Thank you very much. You see, there is a trade dispute act, in particular section 18 of that act. All other bodies, they follow this act as a form of administrative process. But almost invariably, the NMA doesn't follow the trade dispute hard. And when the consequence comes, they start talking about appetite. There is absolutely nothing like that. I will repeat myself. Whether ASU, whether magistrates, all other cases of state government employers, they follow the trade dispute act to the letters. Are you but so almost serious? invariably, the doctors, mm -hmm. they just take yeah. things with impunity and you, 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 do, you do know that it's going to be very difficult for because this has been on for a while uh, this debate as to whether what happens at the federal level is binding on state employers that debate has been on for a while yeah. if the state government feels very strongly about this why is it not taking this matter to court so that it can be settled once and for all no this is the law is clear court on this you see we are in a federal system Whatever federal government, the constitution is clear. The decision on federal workers is not necessarily binding on the state. Well, and what is more, whatever, whenever we have to consider even such decisions, mm -hmm. we have to take into consideration affordability and how we are going to sustain even adopting any of those decisions reached with these federal workers. The reason why exactly the reason why we have to bring this in is because we know it's been on for a while. The labor unions too have been on. For, I mean, have been on this matter for a while, especially when it has to do with minimum wage. You have said you're not going to pay the doctors this time around because, they, first of all, they were not. You had no dispute with them, and so you did not see the reason why they went and strike. But you know that the practice has been that when the when the national body calls for a strike, all members are part of that national body, and so they all go on strike as well. You see, we don't need to go on court on people taking the loss into their hand. They just have to face the consequence. What? That's right. The, the consequence are spelled out by who? By which court? No, the consequence are spelled out by the state policy of no work, no pay. I and beyond that, mm -hmm. I repeated, I, I said the other time that the state, this, I mean, the Trade Dispute Act mm -hmm. is enforced. Yeah, the Everybody Constitution knows spelled it. that one out as well, because, I mean, it was, it's a simple thing that usually when uh, straps are called of agreements are reached, they usually say that there will be no victimization. That is usually part of the plan, but oftentimes, uh, that is not what you get. It would seem that the doctors in Lagos are being victimized for going on this particular strike. The only state government that has not paid its own doctors, apart from, you know, uh, even though all the doctors across the country join in this particular strike. You see, you cannot equate Lagos state government with many other states. I tell you why. There are state governments that has in their employment just about 500 doctors. I don't want to mention names. In Lagos State, apart from those in the uh, private sector, we have more than 3,000 doctors working for Lagos State. In Health Service Commission alone, we have over 2,000 nurses. Are you saving so we cannot is this, is this about saving costs? It's not about saving costs. It's about following the administrative process and the laws of the land. And what we are saying is that, please, don't 
do things with impunity, follow due process like the others, and of course the end result will be good and beneficial to all. Are concerned. you saying on this particular matter that you will never pay these doctors this two months? You're no, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Then? We are quite open to negotiation. The state government is still negotiating with them. But all we are saying is this, whatever negotiation that is going on, we've got to be fair and just to all concerned. The doctors that worked, especially during the dire need for doctors when volunteers came, number two, the taxpayers that actually suffered during this track period. So what you are saying is that, yes, negotiation continues. People have been making entities to government, and we are listening. But then I want to affirm that we are not averse to negotiating and finding solution to the problem on ground. Well, Dr. Salako, Chairman, Lagos State Health Service Commission, many thanks for coming to clarify issues on this particular matter. Well, sorry, Stella takes a moment. Now we'll return shortly. Stay with us.